Now, before we start off this video, I just want to uh, say a few things. So I want to give a shout out to a YouTuber known as the Apple Buyer. Don't know if you've watched him, but on my tech side of videos, he's helped out a lot. Specifically with what this video goes by today, uh, goes with today, um, which is the how to downgrade an iOS, I mean, bleh, how to downgrade an iPhone 3GS on iOS uh, 6.1.6 .6 down to um, 4.1 right here, which it is already running now, iOS 4.1. So, actually, let me grab something real fast. This type of setting might look familiar from, from two videos ago whenever I was downgrading this particular iPhone 4S here to 6.1.3, which this is the phone that I'm using on the challenge that I just uploaded this morning. So, um, really, I'm not going to do it again because it was a huge pain in the butt because, and I will show you this, so here's my uh, 3GS here, running 4.1, and if you notice here, my SIM tray is a little bit cracked, and I don't know if that plays into it, but um, it kind of seems like it does, because I can't, whenever I go to pop in, or to like try and take, right here, this bobby pin thing, it's these, it's these two bars right there. Like, which I used to get out my things. So I used to have a proper semi ejector tool, but it got lost somehow. And whenever I, I try and put it in there and eject it, it won't come out. So I have to take out the screen every time. And so I have my tool bag out. I have to, like, I don't know. So I would have to unscrew these little screws down here and then pop them out. And then take the suction cup and go inside and just push it up from there. And so that really did suck. So uh, that's why I'm not going to be doing it. So pretty much, let's just say that you have an iPhone. Uh, so first off, I want to prove that it is on 4.1. This happened on the bloopers in this other video. If you watch to the end of, of my last video, this phone just likes to fall. So right there, 4.1. So I have downgraded it. Used the Apple Buyers video. Just had to do something different because... And somehow 4.1 still has a uh, that. And this is completely stock. It's not dual booted. It is not jailbroken. No jailbreaks are required. It's just like the last video. Uh, I do not believe you need any blobs either. You just need another one of those IPSW files. And well, first off, I'll just lift off this. I'll just list off the thing you need. Well, obviously, uh, an iPhone 3GS, obviously. Uh, a PC. I have a Windows PC. You probably could use Mac, but that's just how I do it. You need a 30-pin uh, connector to plug into your USB port over here. It's right, right here. Oh my god. My tripod, like, it's just being weird. Okay, so you want that, and then uh, you want a, the IPSW file. So, And you also want iReb. So I'm going to close iTunes, I'm going to close that. First off, I just want to drag iReb7 out. And then I don't think there's anything in here anymore, is there? No. So we can get rid of this folder. iReb right there. Okay, so, uh, it's all pretty easy. If you want to see how to do it not my way, and go check out the Apple Buyers video, and oh my goodness, fun time. I'll just adjust this so that it's not as uh, bad. So, whoa, things are trying to fall. That is not cool. Okay, like that. That's better. Okay, so uh, you want to go to Google. And then once again, you want to go to IPSW dot, or not, oh my god, <laughs> dot me. And once again, if you're doing uh, you're if you're doing the 3GS, you want to go to iPhone. And so with the last video, we went to iPhone 4S and did 6.1.3. But with the 3GS, 6.1.6 .6 and 4.1. So you want to install that, which I already have it downloaded. So once you do that, I have mine down here on my desktop right here. 
you want to open up iTunes like that and then uh, you want to go ahead and connect your phone and stuff which I'm not going to do and then you want to so let's just say this is on iOS 6 um, you want to hold down your power button and your home button except I did not do this because I did this three times for it before it finally worked uh, the first few times I did it, like how the Apple buyer said, but it always put it into recovery mode where it had the Connect to iTunes logo on here, which was not cool. And see, the uh, I'm avoiding my iPhone 6 at all costs except for recording. So, um, so that's that, that that goes with the iPhone 4s challenge that I'm doing. Um, so what was I saying? I can't remember. So, uh, I did it twice where you held down that and then, um, but it didn't work. It always popped up with that. And I would get error code 20. And that would not work. So, instead, I just, uh, opened up. So, I pinned this down to the bottom. And then I went over here to iRev I7, uh, R7. Now, if you're gonna download this, go to the Apple Buyer, the YouTuber is the Apple Buyer, he has everything in the links and stuff, and, um, it sets off your virus scanner and won't let you download it, so, and I have it right here, and so does the Apple Buyer, uh, it's not a virus, don't worry, uh, plus I got, I've seen, like, a few other really trustworthy YouTubers that I always watch, use them, and, um, Including the Apple Buyer, which is where I got this. I'm shouting him out mainly to go check out his channel because he does have very good help and tutorials and reviews. It's just great. Um, so, so uh, for me, what you were supposed to do is you were supposed to, and for me, I just like, okay, then fine. So instead, I just clicked on 3GS and it automatically put it into Pond DFU mode. Black screen. You want to see a black screen whenever you put it into Pond DFU mode. If you see, connect to iTunes after you hold down the power of the thing. Or if you click this, which you probably sh wouldn't see. But if you see connect to iTunes, if you do this, then that means it, it's not going to work. And you're going to probably going to get an error code number 20. Okay? So if I click this, it should just go to a black screen. And you're going to let it... Um, so, then you can close that, and then you want to go back into iTunes, and um, my phone's going to die soon. You want to go back into iTunes, and then, as it's installing, uh, it, it should take about 20 minutes or so, and then you'll get an error code. And, um, it'll say that it could not restore to 4.1, um, please, uh, you, this, I, or recovery failed, uh, you'd have to restore and update this iPhone for it to work. Don't freak out. Well, I mean, you, as long as you have error code, like, in commas, it'll say, like, unknown error, and then at the end, it'll say, like, in parentheses, 1014. 1014. It'll be, like, 10, error code 1015. You're good. Do not click, okay, on the uh, error thing that pops up, don't click in. Don't click OK. Don't click anything. Come down here to the bottom if you're on PC. It's like this little bar down here. You want to go over here and don't click on this, but right next to it. And then it pins it down to the task bar for now. And that's whenever you want to open iReb. Yeah, yeah. And you want to go to Recovery Loop Fixer. Set Auto Boot True. Fixes 1015 errors and recovery loops. Okay, so you click on that and it'll automatically boot your iPhone to uh, 4.1 or it'll click, it'll boot it to a connect to iTunes but it'll look a little bit different. It'll look like a disc and then the music thing. Connect to iTunes and then um, it'll pop up in iTunes saying you have a new phone or if you don't have a SIM card in it, uh, it'll pop up with no SIM card installed, disconnect and insert a SIM card. So that's what you do. You insert a SIM card, and then it just auto and then once you connect it back to iTunes, it'll just automatically set itself up, and then you can get to use. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. You don't need any SHSH blobs. Um, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's a lot. Uh, it's a lot less simple than the 4S downgrade because 
just before us just worked. Um, so, you know, pretty simple. So Peyton and I were guys, this is fruit bowl. Um, so here are these, my white forest is upstairs. Um, so whenever I said, don't click anything, whenever you got the 1415 error, I mean, do not click anything in iTunes. Just go down to the bottom corner, like I said in the video, and do that. And also, I don't know how much I can emphasize this, but please do go check out the Apple Buyers channel, okay? And um, go and check out his uh, Downgrade to iOS 4.1 tutorial if you uh, if you want to see him full time do it. But I'm not doing. Main reason I didn't do mine. So don't want to mess anything up whenever I open this up and try and push that out. I've already done it a few times and I feel like I'm risking it a little too much. I don't want to ruin an iPhone. So. Uh, and just a quick little comparison here. We'll actually do a... Like, like how, kind of like how I did in the uh, last video. Or in the iPhone 4S downgrade video. This phone, this was the, this is the exact same phone that was running 6.1.6. .6. This phone's already off. Okay, this one's off. Okay, three, two, one. And it's kind of ironic. Both of these are running the operating systems that they both ran second. Like this is the iPhone 4S's second operating system, and this is the iPhone 3GS's second operating system. It's kind of funny. And then this is the phone I'll be living with for the full seven days. So this phone is booted. And now this phone is This home button's trying to go on this, so. Nothing there. And then another way that you can tell this is that, um, well, there's a few other ways. Or, oh my gosh. Uh, one thing is the voice memos icon is different. Like in iOS 6, it's blue. And, um, instead of music, there's iPod. And then another way, which could be, uh, you know, really anything, is, uh, something like a difference on the lock screen. You have the camera toggle here, which came in iOS 5.1 and, and, um, didn't come. And then another way is the music. It's different, like the knobs, like I showed in that last video. It shimmers with the motion sensors. This one does not. It's just the old-fashioned top thing. So, and then this one has a kind of messed up volume. Like um, it kind of moves around sometimes. So if I just kind of move it down, well, now it doesn't want to do it. Are you kidding me? Come on, like that. Look. It's just staying on there, and then I have to, like, push it up, and then it finally stops. So, that's just a little thing, but, you know. So, that was a kind of tutorial. An iPhone 3GS running iOS 6.1.6 to iOS 4.1. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial of uh, somebody actually plugging it in, go check out the Apple Buyer on downgrading this. And then if you have an old boot ROM 3GS, this is a new boot ROM. If you have an old boot ROM 3GS, you can also check out his video on how to downgrade to 3.1.3, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see in the next video, and peace out.